Sticking with the theme of character studies, I also read uh, The Easter Parade by Richard Yates. This follows two sisters and it follows the kind of direction that their lives take after their parents divorce when they're young girls. So you have Emily and you have Sarah. Let me just check that I've got that right. Yeah, Emily and Sarah and they're two very, very different characters and their lives take two very, very different directions. And um, again, this isn't particularly plot driven. I think this was a really good book. Um, I really like Richard Yates as writing. I think his writing is really kind of perceptive and poignant and often quite sad in a kind of subtle and sometimes not so subtle way actually. Revolutionary Road was sad. This book was sad also. Um, it kind of followed the two sisters and nothing really works out for them. Essentially this is just a look at how these sisters lives pan out and how they attempt to deal with the separation of their parents and the things that happened to them earlier on in their lives and how different things affect different people in different ways I guess and um, but I think more than anything how things affect people throughout their lives and have a lasting impact on uh, people as they grow up and live their life. Um, I have a very special place in my heart for Richard Yates, um, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is also about two sisters and this is the first book I think this year which I haven't, no that's a lie, the second book this year which I didn't finish. It is very very rare for me not to finish a book but I didn't finish The Watchtower by Elizabeth Harrower. It's about two sisters, Laura and Claire and uh, they're abandoned by their mother and they go to live with this man called Felix who is just a really horrible person and there's a lot of kind of psychological abuse and manipulation and kind of like guilt thrown around it's really strange it was such a slow burner like such a slow burner and I just found it it got too repetitive I kind of feel like I feel like um you almost knew halfway through the book how the rest of the book was going to pan out obviously things could have changed I maybe should have waited it out but but I didn't and I didn't end up finishing this and so I can't really give it a rating. Um, I just didn't enjoy it, it just wasn't my style and yeah, it's, it's really rare of me not to finish um, books but I could kind of feel this book was kind of sending me into a bit of a reading slump and I was just like, wasn't excited to pick it up. Um, so, decided to quit whilst I was ahead. <laughs> this book that I read, it's a tiny little book by Anthony Beaver and I think it's, um, I think it's part of a kind of greater collection of writing about Stalingrad during the Second World War. It just documents how awful Christmas or the Christmas period at Stalingrad was in 1942? Two? Two? Three? This takes a really small snippet of that kind of mass narrative of the Second World War and the things that people went through in the Second World War. Um, and this looks specifically at kind of the Christmas period and the hope that the Christmas period uh, gave to soldiers. So this centers on the German Sixth Army and how they kind of cope or don't cope with uh, a winter in Stalingrad. It's written really, really well. Anthony Beaver does a great job in that respect. It's not a kind of nice story, obviously, I think I would have preferred to read the whole collection. Uh, I think it's just called Stalingrad and it covers kind of all aspects of um, that time period in that context. Um, so I think I would probably would have preferred to read that, uh, though I did enjoy it. So yeah, I, I feel like you can't really give it a rating like how I would rate fiction. Kind of more than a teaser than anything. So yeah, I enjoyed it. And the last book that I read in the month of October was The Fisherman by Chigozi Obioma. I hope that I'm saying that right. This is a story about four brothers and a prophecy foretold by a villager, a well-known madman in their village. This is set in uh, Nigeria in the 1990s and it takes the perspective of the youngest brother, Benjamin, I think his name is, um, and his perspective on the events leading up to the prophecy being told and the events after, which kind of form the real bulk of the story. It's really um, kind of ominous and mythic and fateful and it kind of has not a fairy tale feeling to it per se, but that kind of mythicism. Um, but it's also really, really grounded in kind of like 
cultural, socio-political context and it really kind of does delve into the political landscape of that time which I found really interesting because it's not something that I knew know much about still it's probably something that I should explore further um, I gave this a four out of five stars I really really enjoyed it also really really enjoyed the cover um, <laughs> this does take pride of place on my shelf facing outwards currently um, I really enjoyed it and was also shortlisted for the man Booker in 2015 which I feel is very deserving of um, I don't know how it placed I don't I don't think it won I mean I'm pretty sure it didn't win but um, it was a brilliant book. I really, really enjoyed it. I really like the writing style of uh, Chigozi Obioma. Again, I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. I really liked it. Very, very beautifully written. And um, very interestingly written as well. I think the narrative, you could see how the author played with uh, his narrative and I liked that a lot. And that's all I have to say about that one. <laughs> that is it for my October wrap up, my very very late October wrap up. I think I've lost a lot of light since I started filming that. I've been filming this for like 20 minutes. On the plus side I am a little bit warmer because I think the heating's come on so I can probably take my scarf off which is a relief. So that is my October wrap up. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my November wrap up which <laughs> will be in about half a day's time because I'm so late. <sighs> okay bye!